Directors of photography are some of the most skilled people in our industry. And using their considerable craft and expertise, they diligently create the beautiful images that live in our minds long after a show has finished. Let's take a look at the nominations. Photography and lighting, fiction. Wojciech Chapel, Any Human Heart. 16. Jesus. That's not good. She told me she was 19. Lionel told me she was 19. What's Lionel got to do with it? Uh, uh, she was Lionel. She was Lionel's girlfriend. Listen, Ben, I can explain. It's not at all how it sounds. It's not how it seems. You know, every time, Logan, I say to myself, no, nope, he can't top that, and every time I'm wrong. David Katz Nelson, Downton Abbey. Mama, I'm sorry, no one told me you were here. Oh, dear. such a glare. I feel as if I were on stage at the Gaiety. We're used to it. I do wish you'd let me install it in the Dower House. It's very convenient. The man who manages the generator could look after yours as well. No, I couldn't have electricity in the house. I wouldn't sleep a wink. All those vapours seeping about. Even Cora won't have it in the bedroom. She did wonder about the kitchens, but I couldn't see the point. Chris Seeger, Five Daughters. <laughs> she went there, us. <laughs> she not called me by then. <laughs> Should have called me by now. <sighs> Alan Armand, South Riding. Hey, come away from the edge. Come and join me. Look, it's freezing up here. And we better go back to the others. I don't want to go back to the others. Don't you see? I don't want to go back to them, ever. Muriel. How far do you think I could lean before I went over the edge? For God's sake. If you want me. Come and get me. No! Gavin Finney, Terry Pratchett's going postal. Good evening, John dear heart. Who's there? And good night. <laughs> Alan Armand for South Riding. <laughs> Alan can't be here tonight, so to accept the award on his behalf, it is Kate Haywood. I just want to say, um, I'm really sorry Alan isn't here to, uh, to pick this up, because my God, he deserves it. He's the most talented, creative, and inspiring DOP to work with, and the, the teams who work with him are incredibly grateful. Lisa, Lisa um, Osborne, the producer of South Riding, uh, is here tonight and we all want to thank Alan for everything that he did. Thank him very much and thank you, BAFTA. Kate, thank you very much for joining us and you must be very proud of Alan. Oh, I'm so pleased for him because Alan is, has been extraordinary on this show and such a fantastic uh, asset to any production. He's the most talented and creative DOP and I think what he did with South Riding was kind of give it a kind of wholeness and, a, and, an, and an epic quality. Um, and a sense of scale, which is, has been wonderful, and we're very proud of him. And take us through the process, how he gets briefed on the look that is required well, and how he makes that happen. Well, he, he works very closely with Dimmed Lawrence, the director, um, and it's a book that's not well known, so one's not going into sort of Austin Dickens territory where you've got to be sort of the same as or different from, you know, it's completely uncharted. And the thing that always meant a lot to them was to, to really place South Riding as a place. Um, and you know, and because of that, there's Alan really uh, shot these wonderful kind of landscapes. So yeah. there's a real sense of being in a corner of England that I think people yeah. really don't know actually, and 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 don't associate with Yorkshire, which they think of as all being kind of Yorkshire dales. And yeah. this is actually this sort of rather bleak seascape. And he photographed that completely wonderfully. And then um, these interiors, which are 
you know, it's 1930s, they think they're in the modern age, but they're living in these sort of rather old, dilapidated buildings. And it was just beautifully photographed. And, and where there was colour, there was colour, and where there was sort of shadows, there were shadows. It was very intense and yeah. really suited the, the piece. And tricky with it being the 1930s as well to well, get that looking right. Well, yes, you know, I mean, one wanted to really find something very specific with the 1930s because it isn't Victorian, mm. but it's not now. But, but the novel um, was written by someone who died actually before it came out, so it was very contemporary and trying to catch, that was very much the sort of thing to do with the production, was trying to catch the sense of a contemporary book, somebody who was writing about her world. Um, and I think Alan and, and, and Dim had gave us that, and I think Alan gave such a distinctive look to the photography. I'm very, very proud of him. That's great for him. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us.